Hi everyone, Messy Coder here. Welcome to another Unity tutorial. In this video, we're checking out scriptable objects, and that's why a skill system. We're making a skill system that you can use in any game, including Ultimate Survival. So you can see here my stats, and here are my skills that I can purchase with my XP. I've got 100 XP, I'm a level 3, and I can go click, and you see my stats increase as I get different skills and now I can't buy anymore because I've run out of XP but I can buy this one yay I can't get any more run out of XP okay guys I'll see you in a second sit back and get your potions ready Hi everyone, Messy Coder here, back inside Unity, and we're going to be following up the Scriptable Objects series. We're going to make a skill system, skill tree system, and it's going to be modular so we can plug and play into any existing system like Ultimate Survival. First things first, create a 3D object, a capsule. This is going to be our little man, we're going to call him Bob. Hello, Bob. And here, let's create some folders. Um, I'm going to create my underscore all my stuff and inside there is going to create another folder I'm going to call this one art well, I'm going to stick our art stuff in there and this folder is going to be scripts this one's going to be prefabs as that yep yeah, good enough for now inside scripts just going to make one from my namespace I'm going to call it missy space and we're going to make a folder for script or objects. We'll call this one SO. Oh, and we nearly forgot. Let's make a folder for scenes. And we're just going to save this scene. All right, so inside the scripts, let's go into messy space. And I'm going to create a new C sharp, C -sharp script. I'm going to call this one player stats. Here we go. So let's open this up in your favorite editor. Okay, here we go. We're inside our favorite editor. And I'm just going to put here um, namespace messy space. Or let's put a lowercase s. Messy space. I can put in a curly. Grab that last curly. And stick it here. All right. Lovely jubbly. Now we've got a namespace. All right. Let's make a little space here. Let's put here header oops header and put your curlies and then say player or main player stats and underneath here we're going to have a public string for player name we're going to have a public int for um, player xp and a public int for player level oops oh, there you go Add a public int for player HP, which is going to be our maximum hit points that we'll have. All right, let's put some default values in. So let's say default XP is going to be zero. Um, the default level is going to be one, and HP is going to be 50. So let's we'll say def baseline equals 50 plus 10 each uh, level. There you go. That's not so when he gets to level five, he's gonna have 100 HP. If he gets to level 10, he'll have 150. And then we'll have skills increasing his HP. Which we get five each time. Let's leave it at five each time. Five, five, five each time. Okay, here we are. We've got Bob. Let's drag our player stats onto Bob. And here we go. We've got player stats. So let's have our name. It's gonna be Bob Jones. So now we've got Bob Jones and we've got our default values in there. Now let's go to scriptable objects and we're going to create a C sharp script and we're going to call this one attributes. And here we're going to start sticking in the, um, we're going to create attributes. So we'll have um, fighting, agility, strength, endurance, reasoning, or reason. And these are going to be our main attributes for our game that we're making. It's going to be a bit like how we did the pizza ingredients. So if we open this up in our favorite editor. All right, so this is going to be our scriptable object. First things first, let's go here and say namespace, messy space. And we put our curlies and we'll put a 
ender curly there. We don't need it to be a one over here, so it will be a scriptable object. Lovely jubbly. And then here we're going to say create asset menu, put brackets, and say menu name equals, and we're going to put in here quotes um, RPG generator um, player and slash we're going to put here attribute uh, player attribute to put attribute attribute or create attribute to make it nice and clear and we don't need any of that because it's not a minor behavior we don't even need to put a public or a variable for the name because the scriptable object itself will be the name so we're going to say public string description and now we'll make a public sprite call this one thumbnail all right save that and get back inside to unity all right back inside unity go back to your main root of your assets folder create a new folder call it gizmos we're going to stick our icons in here and for uh, go to google and get yourself some like icons or whatever you want to have i'm going to make an icon now for this attribute and it's going to be called attributes icon all right here's my attributes icon it's a transparent png so i need to turn this into a little gui legacy gui and i'm going to click apply now i need to just change this to none and that will stop that silly memory message that you can see there now if I create another folder and I'm going to call this one create folder and I'm going to call this one assets, here we go. This is where I'll actually put all the scriptable objects that we create. Now if I right click go create we can see RPG generator, player and create attribute. Here's my new attribute, I'm going to call this one fighting and it's got here description, good for fighting with as that for a description and a thumbnail we need to go to the internet and grab ourselves some nice images so i found this simple vector icons and i'm going to grab that one stick it in the project now we've got our icons in our project let's click on here and add in an icon here we go and let's just do the same again create rpg generator play a create attribute we'll create agility and for Next one we'll have strength. Let's create another one. Create attribute. We're going to call this one endurance. As yes, we got agility, let's one. Well, let's put one last one, and we'll put reason. If anyone actually remembers this, F A S E R. I won't say what old game is from, but I'm sure you remember. Let's just choose this one for reason. And this one is intelligence learning. Now that we've got our attributes, let's go back into our messy space folder and create a new C sharp script. And I'm going to call this public methods. Let's open that up. Now we don't need this. I'm going to make name space and it's going to be messy space. Let's get rid of that. There you go. This is all we need at the moment. Let's make a system dot serializable public class player attributes and in here we're gonna say we say public attributes and here we're gonna call this one um, attribute as that and we're gonna have a public int amount that's all right visual studios has got a bit of a shortcut for creating constructors i can do control and full stop and i got here generate constructor and i say yeah i want to have attribute and amount click ok and it does it for me bit cheeky there, isn't it and we're going to use this constructor, this player attributes that we've created here inside the player stats script. Each player is going to have a list of attributes. So let's pop back into player stats. And underneath here, we'll put in a header and we'll say player attributes. 
now we're going to create our list so we want public list and it's going to be the player attributes that we created from that public method we're going to call this one attributes and we're going to have equals new list player attributes brackets semicolon click save now when we go into unity editor we should see a set of player stats here and below it a array that we can create this list of attributes or this list rather than array so let's pop back into unity let's wait for it to do something and click on bob and here we go we've got bob jones zero um, xp level one 50 health and attributes so how many attributes do we have let's go back to our assets one two three four five so just hang on make sure that you've selected up here lock click five for the number of attributes that we've got and let's put our fighting in here let's open all these up so we can see them and we'll set fighting for default is going to be this guy a 10 agility it's going to be a 10 strength it's going to be 10 endurance you guessed it 10 and reason is going to have 10 now we've got our player bob with a set of attributes and a set of player stats now we want to do pretty much the same thing again but instead of creating attributes we're going to create our skills so let's go back into scriptable objects and let's right click create c sharp script and say skills let's open them up in the editor and if we go back to our attributes file here let's put them next to each other and we can pretty much just grab this you can see we don't, we're not actually using these up here so let's just delete that keep that nice and tidy let's grab this put that in here at the top let's put our curly here get rid of this void and start let's grab this menu no point typing again put it here oh you can see that we're missing a curly there instead of create attribute we'll call it create skill and it's not minor behavior it's a script uh, or object just to speed things up let's just pause and play and we've got here a public string description we've got another sprite recording icon another int recording level needed and another int recording xp needed and here like before we've got a list of play attributes of affected attributes this time and it's a new list player attribute jobs are good just a quick note i have cleaned up this assets folder i've made two subfolders one attributes and one skills we just dragged in the attributes into the attributes folder we're going to now create our skills in the skills folder and looking for more icons i've found rpg icons from little sweet demon and i like this one because it's got different like we've got armor ones we've got potiony things we've got weapony things and we've got rings and helmets so we could use these for different types of skills in our little demo here. Alright guys, I'm going to stop it here and upload this video. I'm going to carry on editing and I'm going to upload the second part straight after. So you'll get both parts tonight, so don't worry about that. Um, but it just makes it easier because at the moment it's quite a long video. So I'll see you guys in a second. Don't go away. If you want to see more of my crazy videos, click on the left side of your screen now. And down below, there's that big juicy subscribe button. And right next to it is the magic bell that if you click it, it will tell you if I've got a new video coming out. Till next time.